Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Mirror Dungeon solo video. Today we will be using the single worst solo identity in the entire game, Talisman Sinclair. In fact, he's so terrible that this entire run is more of a thrill showcase than an actual solo run. So that begs the question, what makes him so awful? He's the best rupture identity in the game after all, why is he so bad at soloing? And to answer that question, I need to first clarify something. He is not actually a good rupture identity. His only source of count is on his skill 3, and with it being tied to a very specific conditional, he is mostly negative when it comes to count, and he will end up likely killing a stack if given the chance. The only reason why he is considered good is because he is the only source of the best rupture status effect, Talisman. What does Talisman do? Anytime a character with it hits a target, they will apply Rupture Potency equal to its stack, and whenever they take a hit, they will also gain Rupture Potency equal to its stack. This makes it a very double-edged sword in terms of use, and with how Sinclair is forced to stack it upon himself before he can apply it to an enemy, he essentially doesn't have any resistances. Even resisted attacks are still doing bonus Rupture damage, and god forbid you're up against enemies that stack Rupture. This is why he is useless for solo runs, and you have to be an actual masochist to attempt it without Thrill. So yeah, long story short, this run is virtually impossible without Thrill unless you want to spend the entire run spamming Ego. So instead of talking about the run because it's entirely Thrill just doing Thrill things, I'd like to take this as an opportunity to talk about my opinion on the current state of Rupture. I currently believe that it's in a pretty fine spot, but that is exclusively because Talisman exists. Without him, it would instantly crumble and fall apart. Essentially, there are two different ways to use him. The first way is only useful for single boss encounters that do not have multiple phases, where you use him in the team and he applies Talisman directly onto the enemy and quickly maxes out a rupture stack with only a few attacks. Using him this way guarantees that any enemy will die in only 3-4 turns so long as you have the count to maintain the stack. The only downside to this is that once Sinclair applies Talisman, he becomes virtually useless and it doesn't work if the boss has multiple phases, because a boss phase shift cleanses all debuffs, including Talisman. The second viable way to use him is for his support passive, which needs a 4 gluttony resonance to apply a minimum of 8 Talisman onto whichever identity has the highest current HP. Using him this way is slightly more consistent, but will always result in a much slower kill by nature of not maxing out a rupture stack quickly. In theory, using his support passive is always preferable to using him in a team because you don't have a dead slot for half the fight. Despite this though, when actually in play, it can be quite awkward and slightly clunky to use. There are essentially three major problems that crop up when trying to take advantage of his support passive. First, the distribution of gluttony skills, second, the distribution of positive rupture count skills, and third, the actual identities that can take advantage of his support passive. The first two problems can generally be described together as most rupture identities' gluttony skills are tied to skill 1s or 3s that have negative rupture count. Actually being able to activate Talisman Sinclair's support passive and not accidentally kill the rupture stack at the same time can be quite difficult. Of course, you can use gluttony defense skills to help, but the only rupture identity who I would say that is a viable option for is Rose Spanner Gregor. And if you use a non-rupture identity just for their defense skill, then you might as well be using Talisman Sinclair on the team, as he'd be just as much dead weight as they would be. The biggest problem when it comes to rupture is the lack of positive rupture count skills. There are currently only four identities in the game that have a positive count skill. Rosefan Gregor, Seven Heathcliff, Lantern Don Quixote, and Seven Otis. W. Yi Song also technically counts, but he requires too much setup to really mention. The sheer lack of positive rupture count means actually building a rupture stack from scratch is so incredibly difficult that it's really not viable at all. Talisman is just so necessary because of it. In my opinion, there are only two identities that are actually capable of taking advantage of Talisman Sinclair's support passive, those being Deviat Rodion and Lantern Don Quixote. However, both of them have their own unique problems. The reason I say they are the only ones capable of using his support passive is because they are the only ones capable of building a stack in the first place. The only reason why Lantern Dawn and Deviat Rodion can take advantage is because two of their skills apply Rupture Count on their final coins. Having this allows them to actually build a semi-decent stack, 
the only requirement being activating Talisman Sinclair's support passive and having two skill slots. Without a second skill slot, the stack will be stuck at around 10 potency, which is so bad that it's really not worth the effort. Even with giving one of them a second skill slot, they both still have unique problems of their own. Deviat Rodion is of course on a timer, and by giving her a second skill slot, it only speeds it up. She would be absolutely perfect for Rupture if not for this fact, as it means she cannot realistically survive long enough for any multi-phase fights. Lantern Dawn's problem, however, is that her Gluttony skill is her skill 1 instead of her skill 2. Ultimately, it's not that much of a problem, but it severely reduces the margin for error when it comes to activating Sinclair's passive, as everyone except her needs to be using their Gluttony skills. Ultimately, though, most of this can be boiled down to Rupture's in a generally fine spot. But if Project Moon wants it to be perfect, all they have to do is give us a new identity that's exactly the same as Lantern Dawn, except her gluttony skill is on her skill 2. Anyway, that's basically all I have to say about Rupture. Don't try to solo with Talisman Sinclair, you will suffer. Like and subscribe to not miss next time where we'll be using this character. Goodbye!